Yes, Pooja, go ahead. Uh, hello everyone, my name is uh, Pooja Dibrewala. I'm a yoga instructor for the last few years and currently I'm teaching in a school, uh, Yoga to Kids. So welcome uh, to all of you in this prenatal, postnatal and gut sanskar presentation. Uh, firstly, I would like to show my gratitude to Dr. Nutan ma'am, Dr. Sarita ma'am, then uh, Karima ma'am and Shefali ma'am. They were very kind. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am, I couldn't be there for a lot of live sessions, but trust me, I am studying. And, uh, you know, thank you so much to all my family members who've like, you know, always been there with me, to the universe who actually helped me to like, you know, reach to this course uh, because I was thinking of doing something, but then this was not in my plan. So it just came to me from my aunt and uh, to God, because I feel that, you know, I'm a special child. Uh, to him, he's always there to support me. So I'm very thankful to him as well. Uh, my topic is uh, complications in pregnancy. It was such an emotional topic to actually study. Uh, it's not an easy uh, topic. And uh, complications in pregnancy and the yoga in, from yoga therapy, how can we resolve uh, any situation that comes in our way? So um, before starting... Uh, like, you know, directly to the topic, I would like to first, uh, like, you know, share what pregnancy, what pregnancy is to me now after understanding the course. So it is such a beautiful uh, experience, I'm sure. Uh, a lot of transitions happen in a woman's life. Only through this course, I can realize that how strong are women, like each and every woman. So we should always take care, not just of our client, but uh, whoever we meet, if we see that they are pregnant, we should try and be like, you know, a little concernful towards them. Uh, as a health provider, we should always remember that we do not give any wrong guidance to them. If we don't know about something, we can say sorry and uh, we can like, you know, get back with the right information. Uh, we should always know our client that, you know, what has been their history and what are the likes and dislikes, just like our five fingers, uh, you know, every woman and every individual is different and we should always bridge the gap between the doctor and the client uh, it shouldn't be that you know we are only trying to solve all the problem if it's needed they should be uh, like you know suggested the doctor's advice uh, what should be the first questions that we ask them uh, so we should ask their age what age group are they in uh, how many years of mar marital life have they been in? Uh, are the periods regular? If they have any past medical conditions of both the partners and uh, any acute ailments that they had, any life-changing events, maybe they've changed their house or any certain thing that happened, which could be something that is going on at the back of their mind and whether it's their first pregnancy, second or likewise. So when we will ask these questions, we would be able to suggest them better. Now, the first signs of pregnancy, here I would like to share a short story. So uh, I took a power yoga class uh, for a group of people. And then four months later, that female came to me for prenatal class. When I got to know that, I was so surprised and overwhelmed that, oh my God, I took her power yoga class when she was probably two, one and a half or two months pregnant. I was so scared that, oh my God, if something would have happened, I might have, you know, felt so bad. Like, so I realized that, you know, before starting with anything, it's good to ask them things and you should educate everyone that what could be, you know, the signs of pregnancy. If you've missed your periods, be careful, be aware that it could be, you know, something. So don't just leave things like that, that, okay, it could be just a random thing. So we should educate them about that as well. Then uh, what are the general caring practices that uh, we should adopt in pregnancy. So we start with the general care that every woman during pregnancy should take care of these things. So during the first trimester, the first important thing is, is the dating scan, which is like, you know, wherein we get to know the heartbeats of the child that yes, a child has been like, you know, taken place, but then the heartbeats are also there. So by that, we'll get to know that the woman is pregnant the neutral uh, translucency scan, 
which uh, determines if there are any symptoms of Down syndrome or any problems. So we would get to know in the early stage, here is the time, like, you know, the initial 20 weeks where we can, like, you know, if there's any termination that is there in the mind of the woman, she can do that. There should be active lifestyle. It shouldn't happen that, you know, the pregnancy has come and now we are not doing anything. We are just resting. Your life should be active. Uh, folic acid has to be taken and proper nutrition should be uh, given to the pregnant woman. During the second pregnancy, the level two scan, which is also the anomaly scan, so which determines the different organs. Now here in the second trimester, the organs have started to develop. So by this scan, we will get to know that, okay, how are the organs, like, you know, are they developing properly? Uh, or if there are any deformities, then we can guide or take care according to that. Then uh, it's also important to uh, spend some time with the child on daily basis. So maybe after post meal, you can do this fetal count movement. So you can just relax, lie down and uh, spend some time with the child and understand if there are any movements or no. During the third trimester, uh, because it is the last trimester, the last few months, so you should be much more aware uh, if there are any signs of any abnormal pain or any bleeding, any discomfort, you should immediately consult uh, your health provider or the doctor for the same. There could be few complications during the pregnancy. So uh, the first one we see here is the congenital malformations wherein uh, there could be any heart defects, there could be some hole in the child's heart. So this and the spine or any kidney deformities there, uh, these are little complicated thing, but uh, if, you know, God forbid something happens, the first thing is we should have that acceptance that something has happened, yes. And instead of just thinking about the problem, we should think that how can we resolve it? Because it is said that 95%, whatever you are, it's here, happening in your brain. You can change anything that you want in your life. So you can change things and you can accept things as well. Now, uh, something like, you know, cleft palate or cleft lip or club foot, that can also be resolved. We have the technology now, advanced technology, simple surgery, simple foot massages can be given to the child and things can be resolved. Uh, post that, there could be bleeding during pregnancy. This could be several at several stages. So during the first trimester, the bleeding could be due to threatened miscarriage. But here we can save the child if we go to the doctor at the correct time. There could be complete incomplete miscarriage wherein like, you know, the child, the miscarriage has started to happen. We might not be able to save the child, but we can save the mother and uh, after proper cleaning. There could be missed abortion. Molar pregnancy is slightly complicated where a grape-like structure uh, forms inside the uterus. And ectopic pregnancy is where the fertilization happens outside of the uterus, which is again slightly complicated, but doctors can take care of those things. During the second trimester, uh, there's something called as cervical incompetence, where the where our uterus is not able to hold the baby properly and the baby is that's why it is starting to go down. So doctors stitch the cervical area and that's why the baby is able to stay there. We have to take special care during this time. Uh, proper yoga asanas, simple asanas, simple relaxation techniques should be given here. Uh, during the third trimester, placenta previa wherein... Uh, the child is, the child ideally should be downwards and the placenta should be up. But here what happens is the opposite thing happens. The placenta is downwards and the child is up. So there could be certain complications here. Um, after this, there could be some maternal complications. Like if the mother is anemic, so there could be some fetal growth problems. Uh, so that should be taken care. So pregnancy is not just those nine months. We have to take care uh, for that woman before that as well and after that as well. If there's any hypertension problem, blood, pr blood pressure problem, they, there's a serious problem called eclampsia and preeclampsia. So we should take care that, you know, the blood pressure is stabilized and normal. Uh, diabetes uh, is something that we should take care of. And uh, RH negative pregnancy, wherein the blood group of the female is negative. 
and if the male the father uh, blood group is positive that could be a problem so here uh, the there is an injection anti d which should be taken care and that should be given to the mother uh, but whatever happens we always have like you know some solutions some yoga therapy we can uh, give to the mother so sukshma vyayam is something that should be there even if there are any complications sukshma vyayam can always help uh, the mother and the child we can do few simple pranayams like alternate nostril breathing brahmari uh, chandra bhedan pranayam is mainly for any lady who has high blood pressure abdominal breathing can be done you can turn to the side in dhradasan and then you can do abdominal breathing like ma'am told garbha sambad is one of the things that you should start from the first trimester itself that would be very helpful um and uh, there are so many different techniques that uh, can be helpful to a woman during her pregnancy stage uh, here i finish my presentation with a heart full of gratitude uh, thank you so much everyone for listening me out and uh, thank you so much nutan ma'am for uh, you know always being so supportive and here i've just inserted a picture of my mother to actually like you know i am going to tell her that she's done three cesarean we are three girls still she's like you know very supportive and uh, she's been amazing so i'm surely going to call her and now thank her for this thing like i always felt that okay theek hai like you know three cesareans of course it's a tough thing but now i realize man it's not easy uh, pregnancy is not that easy yes thank you ma'am